Hey, it's Satori here, the founder of Satori Method. I was just going to shoot this little video today. I'm uh, here outside and having a little uh, nice afternoon in uh, Newport Beach. And today, I thought I'm going to share with you some specific secrets that I've learned along the way of working with people from all around the world, helping people define what is it that makes people feel a connection in relationships and what makes people not have a connection. So, what I want to talk to you today about are three distinctions that really either expand a relationship or crush it. It crushes it. So, the three distinctions today I'm going to share with you, and the reason I'm going to share this with you is because when you understand these distinctions, you will have deeper, more intimate relationships, you will have more of an understanding of who, who you are and the people you care about, and if you don't understand these principles, you will have a place where you really destroy any relationship that you will have. I don't care if you've been with a partner for you know, many, many years or if it's a brand new relationship. If you don't understand these distinctions, it will never work. So here it is, the three pieces that I want you to learn. There are three ways of communicating. And the three ways of communicating is either you are either going to attack someone, kind of attack them and not like agree with anything they say, or you're going to ignore them, or you're going to embrace them. And so let me give you a couple examples of that. So, for example, right now, you know, I'm standing outside here and it's, you know, a beautiful day and somebody comes over and I say, you know, wow, look at that beautiful home over there. I would love to have that home. And my wife comes over and says, yeah, you keep dreaming. You will never have a house like that. That's the way of attacking, right? The other way is that, you know, I'm looking at something and I say, look at that. That's so beautiful. I love that. And as I'm doing that, the person stands there on their cell phone like, completely ignoring me, not paying attention to me at all, or they respond with, I don't know what it is, I'm so hungry right now, and they completely ignore my comment. The third way is to embrace it and meet the person, so if I say to you, you know, look at that beautiful home, or look at that beautiful tree, and, and the person says, yeah, you know what, that's really nice, look at that, and they are joining me in the conversation, and of course, from there you have different levels, right? You can be someone like looking at their cell phone and like looking up with their eyes a little bit and acknowledging, yep. Or they can be like, yeah, you know what? That looks so beautiful. You, you would love to have a place like that, don't you? And they're joining you. So the three things I want to leave you with today and to really think about, because this happens all the time. All the time. How often? All the time. So you're either meeting someone, you're ignoring them, or you're attacking them. So when you're meeting them, you're embracing the conversation, you're increasing the relationship, you're making your relationship grow stronger, or you're ignoring them, which makes the, people, makes the person feel like you don't care about them, or you're attacking them, which makes them feel like they're worthless. So every single day, people are giving you small little imitations, imitations to either meet them, ignore them, or attack them. Which one will, do, will you use? Which one will you do? Pay attention to it, because every single day, you're doing one of the three. And the question is, at which, at which level? So, that was my little video for you today. Hope you enjoyed it. Enjoy it. I can't even talk right now. Uh, it's, uh, you know, hot out here. But uh, anyway, take this little distinction that I'm giving you, three ways to make sure you have a close relationship or destroying your relationships. Till next time, live fully and love openly. Bye.